Right now, we've got a very special guest who's joining us. Yes, and she goes by the name of Val Mulwa. Hey, right. Val, can you hear Hello, us? Hello, Val. All right, let's give her a moment. Val her. is uh, calls herself the Wandering Architect. She's an interior architect by profession, and uh, she anafanya mambo ya architecture. Atatuambi ya mambo yake, but in the meantime, hi, Val, can you hear us? Hi. You need to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Val, karibu sana morning vibes. There you go. <laughs> Actuarial interior. Uh, let me tell you, architecture is a whole ball game. It's for the creatives who are out there looking at things differently, mm. creating things, and uh, seeing things where nothing was. Yeah. If I could put it like that. So yeah. very excited about engaging with Val. Mula. Val, Karibusana morning vibes. Can you hear us, Val? Yes, I can. Thank there you, you go. so much for having me. Welcome, Karibu welcome, sana. welcome. The wandering architect, uh, architect Val, Val Mwende Mulwa. Karibusana. When is this uh, when is this uh, nani? Yolanda. 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 Ah, yes. is that Yolanda's hand there? <laughs> That's my daughter's hand. <laughs> Yolanda's fingers are not that small. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Val, um how did you get into architecture? Is this something you always dreamt about? You're like, "Oh my god, when I grow up, I'm going to build buildings." Yes, yes, I dreamt about it mm-hmm. and I studied at Nairobi University. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. And and when School you were, of architecture. When you encompass what was uh what you know when what what what, what did it, what the terrain look like? Because mm. at that time when you encompass my building as equal as uh, you, have you seen the architecture in Nairobi? Yeah. Yo man. Some is, first, some it's like, dope, some is really whack. W- no, 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 no. These <laughs> new ones that are coming up. What you is are inside. Like that hexagon building. Bro, have you seen that one that looks like a <laughs> Yeah, like a curve, like, like a, a like an egg. Like a, like a I, okay, ah, fine. Let's ah, say egg. Then. You say egg. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the you're saying. The one in Westie Apple, one yeah, Africa. Yeah, 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 it's a dope building though. Yeah, it looks like an egg. Your eggs look like that. No, it just looks something like <laughs> you're crazy, Shila. You know, you're the Chris. Yeah, but shout out to architects. But when you were in school, yeah. buildings didn't look like that. Did you have the ambition to make buildings look different? Yes, and I actually studied interior architecture, mm. but. Soon I'll venture into architecture, like the mm. outer shell of buildings. All right. So tell us about interior architecture. What's that about? It's interior. It's the interior bit of architecture. So mm. we deal with the plumbing, mm. yeah. the electrical, mm. the design. Mm. Basically, the architecture of inside the house. Mm-hmm. So when yes. someone is building a house, they need an architect and they need an interior architect. Yes, That's yes, crazy. yes. Or you'll end up with like those houses in Roisambu with small yeah. two cubicles uh-huh. of yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it expensive to work with an interior architect? Like should I be willing no. to have like a crazy budget? Should I be willing to exp- to spend? If no, I wanna no, work no. with you, Val, how much are we talking? Yes. <laughs> okay, for me, <laughs> that's such a subjective question. I know. All right, Sasa, let me let me let me give you a legit question because I know that's a bit sensitive. <laughs> what yes. What do you mean when you say you're a wandering architect? What does it entail to be a wandering architect? Okay, I have always loved writing, but I felt like everyone is blogging about fashion, design, clothes, and I was like, what if I blogged about something I studied about? Mm-hmm. So I decided to write about the places i've visited in the aspect of interior architecture yeah yeah all right okay dope. and uh looking at um you know there's let's go back to what you said you build a house with an architect yeah me focus on the shell so me say we not cut through bedroom as a architect i'm say no more I'm a I'm a foundation up I'm a chora up and your bedroom it a qua up and your in it a qua. Ukangaleo kitu kwa 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 map in a cafeti. Lakini watcha man is a kujenga. Una realize jikoni in a ikonas awezi a caf nini cabinets apple. Yes. You know, if yes. if imagine if someone has built a house with that uh, uh, architect but hasn't worked with you, can you still rectify the problem? Yes, we can rectify the problem. Yes, because I. In interior design, you still learn about structures, mm. which is a course in architecture. So mm-hmm. we can still rectify any problem that's architectural. Yes. What is the one thing that, uh, you know, is, is the most common thing that you deal with in terms of interior architecture? Because sometimes you're not maybe building, maybe you're just renovating. Yeah. Is it UI? Yes. 
Yes, you can call me. Yes, and most times, uh, okay, most Kenyans think interior architecture is more of interior decoration. Yes. Mm. So when they call us, they Guilty. just want curtains, seats, mm. like, and maybe you might assist and make the space look bigger yeah. by building a wall, by breaking a wall, mm -hmm. or editing something that was done structured structurally, but. Yes. Most Kenyans just think about decorative part. Oh. I was about yeah. to ask about some decorations, so now that I know, <laughs> it's but, not that. Uh, that's that's interesting. But when you talk about most Kenyans, who are some of your biggest clients? Is it like is it like corporates or just you know guys who are very, yeah, individuals? Okay. Corporates know what interior architecture is, but in individuals mostly think it's the decorative part. Like, can you paint my house? Can yeah. you get me? Curtains, mm. wallpaper. Mm. Yeah. But who do you work with the most? What's your clientele looking okay. like? Okay, my clientele now is individuals, mm -hmm. but soon I hope to graduate to corporate. Yeah. Right. Okay. Dope. We've got Val Mwende Mulwa. She's an, an interior architect. Now, Meskia, see, usifikiri yendi wa mtu wa kukunulia curtains. It's not that one. When we come back, we'll find out more about this profession, how to get started, and what are the challenges. Vibes Radio. Man, Val, 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 Val. Karibu sana morning vibes. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you like... Uh, unapenda etana? Unapenda reggae? Napenda reggae. Unapenda etana? <laughs> Napenda sana. Unapenda etana paka yani akimba unaitana? <laughs> that's, her, that's her latest uh, single with Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel and uh, Etana there with Baby Yo. So, kitafta una tafta Baby Yo. But, sila zmeo tafta Val, baki tu wapa Vibes Radio, tukupatia kila kitu. Yeah, uneza request. Ata loan, loan. Ata tunapatia, ata loan. Zabiashara. Nipe loan. Alright, so we are speaking with Val Mwende Mulwa. She's an interior architect by profession. And uh, she calls herself the wandering architect. And so we're just trying to get to understand Ibiya Shara. Because I'm still looking to know architect ni mtu anajenga nyumba. Pap! So atitena ni gretu wa ndani na nje. Hai. Mina ataka mwenye anatengdeza ndani, ndani, ndani. Atitendeza kila kitu. But we've realized that. And you know, especially, yeah. Yeah. Kevin ukitembea, kuna places za pa kilimani, utangalia nyumba ya nyumba wa Chinese wa mejenga. Yeah. <laughs> no na bad way. No na bad way. Wa, wana jenga nga vitu fiti pia. Yeah. Lakini pia sisi kuna zingine si fiti. Aziku wangi functional. Si, si functional. Ay. Cho in a face kitchen. Yeah. Kuna, kuna cho, kuna, kuna kitchenette alafu yeah. kuna cho. Wuna oh, jwa ki Afrika kimila. <laughs> kimila. That is so wrong. Eh? It's yeah. like alafu kuna yeah. hii ati bedroom. Iko hapa next to the sitting room. <laughs> bedroom is a private uko. so all these things come into play when you know you're getting an interior architect and these are some of the challenges let's talk about the business of uh, interior architect Salo Lianza, uh, did you start as your own business or you started working with somebody else okay first i i interned at image 360 mm -hmm. and oh. i learned so much yeah, like nice. When I when I joined internship, I I didn't know anything because mm. in uni you're not taught how to use the softwares, mm. you're not taught you're not taught what you're going to experience once you leave school. Yeah. It's just theoretical. So when I joined, oh my god, they taught me everything that I know, mm. how to deal with clients, the steps you take when you when you get the client's job, yeah, yeah how to use the softwares how to market yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned so much. So much. So, Image360 Design, thank you. <laughs> wow. I like that you big up people that, you know, that helped you out because a lot of people are saying, ah, iki to me nili janzi nili ndai shule, whatever. <laughs> but good stuff. Um, as you're looking at, uh, you know, getting into the business, I've just mentioned that scenario, like say, you have Chinese people coming into the country, building houses. Yes. But the, the key thing is that Tradition plays a big part in building, you know, some of these things. I always yeah. do, if you go to Lamu, you're yeah. building a house, it could be very different from how you'll build that house in Kakamega. 100%. You know? So, do you, uh, when, you're, when you're designing, are these some of the things that you come into contact with? Yes. So, when I'm designing, for instance, I meet a client, mm -hmm. I find out what they like, where mm -hmm. they're from, because yeah. most times, like, for example, if I'm doing a Swahili design, yeah. I'll first research about Swahili people, mm -hmm. what they like, mm -hmm. 
their history mm. so I can know how to design for this particular client. Yeah. So first you do research before you start designing. Mm. Then you meet with the client and you give them options, different options, so they can decide what is what is preferable to them. Because uh-huh. the client is always right in design. Whether the, the design is awful or not, yeah. you just give them advice, but they choose what they'd like. Uh-huh. Are there, is, there, is there something a client has told you to, to do, and you're just like, okay, sir, okay, okay, sir, okay, sir, sir? <laughs> this will not work. <laughs> how, how do you politely yes, say no, you know? <laughs> Like you can't okay. do it. You you can't say no. Yeah. So you just give options mm. in in the sense of you give them advantages of yeah. the the design you you feel will be right for them. But yeah. if they still pick what they want, yeah. client is always, he's always right. right. Let me ask you something, Val. Yeah, I've got a cousin of mine. He's called Solo Architect, and he's amazing. He studies he's a, he studied in uh, Malaysia in America. Mm-hmm. You know this architecture, yeah. this architecture course, but and he mentioned something to me that I feel like you need to probably chamber on also. He told me it's very yeah. hard in Kenya to establish yourself in that industry simply because first, okay, first of all, like your brand, you it's probably yeah. gonna take time, you know, before you become like a heavy hitter in your industry. Yeah. Also, there's the fact that Kenyans kind of like they probably lean towards foreigners. Anasema, this yeah. muzungu here, anakaneza fanya kazi poa. He seems to be more creative, uh, sorry to say this, than Val. Is that true? Yes, it's true. It's not a lie. And it's so hard. Like for me, I started my company, Lemark Interior Designers, in 2019. And I've still not grown, but I'm patient because I feel like every day is a learning opportunity. So even with the no's I get, mm-hmm. I learn some, something from the no's. Yeah. What yeah. about the foreigners aspect? Is like is it like heavy competition from them? Cuz I know they yeah. There's heavy competition. Uh-huh. There's heavy competition true, but I feel like you have to be different. Like for me, I I believe that if you offer value, someone will choose you mm-hmm. as opposed to someone who's just doing the job for the cash. Yeah. So for me, there's so many times I've done jobs for clients and, they, and they've not paid me. And I didn't really make a big issue of it because I know I offered value. And I know one time at any point they'll remember what I had to offer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, Val, uh, there's something you said about value, right? You, you, you mentioned yes. value, value, value. Um, when, you, when you're going into this business of uh, in, you know, uh, uh, interior architecture, um, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, you you know, you're trying, you're working with different people because mm. I, I can yes. imagine at the scene, uh, you know, there's the people who are building, there's the there's the architect, there's the different engineers. As a woman, yes. how 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 is that space? Because I know a lot of ladies, you know, we, we shun some careers mm. because maybe we think they are not spaces for women. How do you how do you feel yes. in that space? Well, yeah, that's true. At first, I was so. I was, it was so nerve wracking because everywhere I'd go, there'd be more men as opposed to women. Mm. But there's actually groups for mm. architects, mm. women, uh, women in architecture, mm. where they usually meet up and discuss the challenges, the advantages, and they support each other. And also for me, uh, I, 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 at first I was scared because, yes, this is a male dominated uh, career, but I was like, you know what, maybe. As a woman, this is something I have to offer. You know, the woman knows yeah. at home how it's supposed to be. So mm-hmm. there's something different I have to offer as opposed to a man. Yes, we can both coexist in the career, but maybe there's something I'll see that a man won't notice in the home. Mm. So for me, that's what I usually, that's what, that's what makes me feel like it's okay as a woman. Yes, I can work with men and I will assist. All right, now let's come down to values. You started your own company, and uh, you said that you know your value. Um, what what does Lemark? What what value are you giving that other? What is Lemark giving that other people yeah, don't if know? If I about? wanted Lemark to yeah. build my house, yeah. what's your USP? So, <laughs> so for Lemark, you see, for when you're doing the design process, mm-hmm. most companies they want you to pay before you can show them, mm-hmm. before they can show you what they have to offer right. at Lemark. We will show you what we can offer. We will give you details. We will will teach you what you need to know. Mm-hmm. Whether or not you will pick us to do the design, oh. we'll, we'll 
offer you value. We'll let you know this can't work, this will work. Mm-hmm. We'll show you different options you can pick from. And you can even, sometimes it gets, it gets to a point where someone goes with your designer and runs off. Right. But at the end of the day, we've offered you value because you've learned something you didn't wow. without having to pay for it. Yeah, but I think you should copyright your ideas because yeah, you yeah, you, you, yeah people are think... animals. Let me ask you something, Sheila. Yes. you uko kileleshwa. Kilimani. Ngong Road. Mm-hmm. Where else? Uh, Iceland is a whole different situation. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, houses are so similar, man. Yeah. Like, Kwanza Apartments. Yeah. Yeah. What is wrong yeah. with Kenyan designers? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Why are you trying to change it? <laughs> trying to yeah, change it's it. true. That's what happens. But yeah. before yeah. we let you go, uh, Val, yeah. you said that you know, some of the challenges I've had you say is that, you know, competition from, from outside people, you know, value yeah. foreigners more than locals. You've also mentioned that you can do a design someone a uh, You've also yeah. mentioned that you can do some work for someone I'm to I end in a door. Yeah. I, I, even, I even shudder to ask, what other challenge could there be? You're struggling. <laughs> what other challenge okay. could there be? I feel like the the only other challenge I personally have is I just don't understand why Kenyans do not like African design because so many homes you get into are are themed on Western design yeah. and European design. Yeah. Yeah. Like why don't you like? Okay, behind in the background you can see my seat. Yeah. My yeah. house is my house is a merge between european and african yeah, design yeah. because i'm african mm. i'm proud of my heritage so the other challenge is you meet a client you try to pitch like an african design and they don't want it yeah, like they want like, european. I want a california villa <laughs> i want yes. a real, you know bohemian <laughs> but, but what yeah? i want italian you know are you Italian, you know, yeah, couture. Yeah, you are Tunanga, you are Isn't this what they say? Is it, when they order this, is this yes. what they say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So how do you yeah, handle so a client I, like that? So what would you tell what Kenyans? Want, what would you tell Kenyans? Because I let me tell want, you, Val, ukitembea kwanza in the village. Once one person builds their house, yeah. right? Oh my God. Sasa kwa mshuru ni glass, dhima ni jangekayo ni weke one extra window, yeah. you know? So, yeah. what, you're, listening, you're talking to Kenyans, future homeowners, future, you know, people who are probably right now thinking about how to build. What is your one advice to them? Hmm. My one advice to them is, Aki, please, just let's try base our designs on African teams because... Hmm. These people, when they go to their countries, they use our African themes. Like I've seen some, I've mm-hmm. seen someone, yes, I've seen someone in Europe who has who has Kamba print, the Kamba print on yeah. their suit. Yeah. And I'm like, is I it, don't see that in Kenya. Is that a Why Kenyan can't... living in Europe? I'm a, like a Muzungu just from no, there. No, it is a Muzungu. Like when I was doing my research for my for my term paper, yeah. when I was in uni, I'd see these things. And my question was, and actually my my paper was on the the Kileleshwas and wow. the why are houses <laughs> being built on European things? Exactly. Like yeah. let's do African, let's do Kenyan. Yeah. Let's stop let's stop using other people's teams. Yeah. Let's yeah. love Kenya. Love Kenya. Let me ask Use you. Use Kenya. Mm-hmm. Val, so assuming me have nime, someone nime graduate, you know, from uni and uh, yes. uh get my whatever my papers and all those things. What's the yes. one mistake that you're noticing newbies in the industry are making and uh, hopefully they can uh, rectify? What would you advise them to, you know, stop doing that? Okay, for me, I think the one mistake I still also make because I'm still a newbie yeah. is it's instant gratification. Like you just want money fast, fast, fast before putting in the work like Uh you have to put in the work you have to learn different softwares you can't just focus on one because times change and people focus on different things Mm -hmm. you have to learn the different softwares you have to be in touch with what's happening in design what's new in design yeah so don't think about money, Sana, first. Put in the work and the money will come. I love it. Put in the work and the money will come. Val Mwende Mulwa, Interior Architect by Profession. And by the way, she has a journal called Wandering Architect. Where can they find it? You can find it on WordPress. I can put in the link. Yeah. We're yes. going to share and next to your really hot photo on Instagram. Uh, we're going to share that, yeah. that link. Yeah. 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 Shut up. But then you have a lot of fans. Like, your photo, you may find your Come on, driven your car. She's bang, painting. Painting, man. <laughs>
Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much we have for made having Val's day. me. I know. We have made you Val's have. day. <laughs> bye bye, Val. We have made our day. The segment is called On My Grind and it happens every single weekday morning where we bring you somebody who's on their grind and they can share with you their challenges. Si lazima ujue kutoka watu wenye at Bill Gates peke. Angalia Val, ame decide mzee nimetoka uni na nenda kutengeneza watu zangu na ndio sasa. Make sure you check out Wondering Architect especially if you're wondering about being an architect. Yeah. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation.